children this is teacher aura back in our last class we learned about the food we eat i'm sure all of you all are eating a healthy diet you all know what is a balanced diet right and how the food helps us we learned about the different groups that is the energy giving group the protective group and the body building group so today we are going to learn a very interesting topic that is clothes we wear so today in this lesson we are going to learn why we wear clothes different clothes for different season what are clothes made of clothes according to occupation like food water and shelter clothes are one of the basic needs so children why do we wear clothes yes we wear clothes to look smart besides that clothes protect us from the heat cold rain dust and insects bite it also covers our body so clothes are very important we wear clothes made of different materials according to the seasons and climate of the place where we live cotton wool and silk cotton clothes in summer we wear light cotton clothes cotton clothes helps us to keep our body cool they absorb sweat easily and allow air to pass through we get cotton from cotton plant example shirt saree frock woolen clothes woolen clothes keep our body warm by not letting the heat go out so these clothes are worn in winter we get wool from the fur of animals like sheep yak and rabbit example sweater muffler and gloves leather clothes leather clothes are also worn in winter as they also keep our body warm leather is obtained from the skin of dead animals example jacket pants silk clothes silk clothes are worn mostly on special occasions they are soft and have a shine we get silk from silk worm example silk sarees shawls and gown rayon clothes rayon clothes are light and dry up easily and feel soft like silk these clothes are used in summer and rainy season rayon is made from wood pulp waterproof or plastic clothes These clothes are mostly used in the rainy season as they do not absorb water and protect us from getting wet. These are made of plastic or rubber. Example, raincoat, umbrella, gumboots. Canvas clothes. Canvas clothes can be worn in any season. Canvas is used to make things like jeans, shoes and handbags. 
canvas is a strong material made from a plant called hemp. Jute cloth. Some clothes are made using this fiber. We get jute fiber from jute plant. Rope, gunny bag, handbag and doormats are also made from jute. Clothes are of different types. Sometimes the clothes which people wear tell us about the work they do. People working in banks and offices often wear light colored clothes. Motor mechanics use dark colored clothes while working so that the dirt does not show on their clothes. People working in the police, army, navy, air force and, and hospitals wear different uniforms. Children also wear uniforms to school. People working in the fields use short clothes. These clothes reach only up to their knees. Long clothes will get wet in the rice fields. Now let's see our sources of cloth material. Fibers are thread-like parts used to make cloth. Fibers may be natural or man-made. Cotton, jute, silk, canvas and wool are natural fibers. These fibers are obtained from plants and animals. Fibers like nylon and polyester are man-made. So, they are called man-made fibers or synthetic fibers. Let us have a look how fiber from cotton plant is spun into thread which is called yarn. Care of different types of clothes. Clothes are made using different materials. So, we need to take care of them. Silk and woolen clothes are very delicate. So, we should use a very mild washing powder or detergent to wash them. We should not spin, squeeze or wring them. Woolen clothes should be dried on flat surfaces to avoid losing their shape. Clothes made of cotton, rayon and canvas materials are strong and can be washed using any good soap or detergent. Color of some clothes is not very fast and runs, so we need to wash them separately. Clothes should be washed, dried, ironed and folded properly before keeping them in the cupboard. To keep the clothes from moths and silverfish, we should use moth balls. Children, I hope you all all understood why clothes are important to us and which clothes are worn in which season and the materials which they are made and from where we get the materials. We also learn how to take care of our clothes. With this, I end my lesson. Stay safe, keep learning.